here we need to determine moment of inertia of a section which is shown in figure with respect to centroidal axis parallel and perpendicular to ab now this is the composite figure of which we need to determine moment of inertia with respect to two axis which are parallel to ab this side is given ab so we have to draw centroidal axis parallel to ab and perpendicular to ab and about those two axes we need to determine moment of inertia of this composite figure to determine moment of inertia with respect to centroidal axis first we need to determine centroid of this composite figure and centroid can be located by drawing two axes reference axis this is x axis and this is y axis uh, we know that we always draw we always try to draw axis which is passing through the bottom most part of the given figure and left left most part of the given figure so that entire figure will come in first quadrant and so that all values all uh, distances will be in positive uh, will be positive values so we have drawn this x and y axis mark them x and y axis x and y axis we have marked now mark cent uh, center point of this now divide this uh, this composite figure into two areas area 1 is this rectangle and area 2 is this rectangle this way you can uh, divide this into two rectangles and mark center point of these two rectangles these are the center points of area 1 and this is the center point of area 2 now we know uh, we know that we can determine centroid using this relation for x bar we use a1 x1 a2 x2 now here only two areas so this uh, equation will become a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 similarly for y bar also a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 so in short we can write then uh, write this equation as sigma ax divided by sigma a sigma ay divided by sigma a so it is better to prepare a table so uh, this is the table which uh, we used to prepare now here first column is area so we have two areas 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 we mark them now calculate these areas now area 1 this area 1 is this length is 50 and this width is 8 so 15 into 8 400 400, 400 mm square so now x is x is the distance of centroid of area 1 this is the uh, uh, this is the centroid of area 1 its distance from y axis x is distance from y axis so distance from y axis this distance is same as this distance and this center you can see that this is total 60 so this distance will be 30 so this center is also in 30 so this x1 is 30 mm similarly x2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 this is the uh, centroid of area 2 and its distance from y axis this is again 60 30 mm so i have written there here 30 mm now multiply this ax because we know um, we require the sigma ax so ax multiply a into x this a into x this column and this column so 400 into 30 and this is what we will get 480 into 30 this is we will get now uh, y uh, position of uh, position of centroid of area 1 from x axis this distance total this distance now this point is the center of this rectangle that means from this side and from this side from both of these two sides its distance will be 25 because total height is 50 so this distance will be 25 and this distance will be 25 now we require distance of this point from x axis so from x axis total distance is this distance is 8 plus this distance is 25 so total is 8 plus 25 33 mm and similarly y2 is y2 is centroid center point of 2 this is the centroid of 2 and its distance from x axis this distance this is total 8 so this distance will be 4 so this is y2 is equal to 4 now again multiply this 400 into 33 you will get this value similarly 480 into 4 you will get this value now sum this column uh, summation ay you will get this value sum this column summation ax you will get this value once you get this summation ax summation ay similarly summation a add these two areas so you will get this now uh, put all this values in this and this equation these two equations you will get x bar and y bar so this is x bar 30 mm uh, now you can calculate y bar using this uh, relation ay by a so 15120 divided by 880 17.18 mm now you can locate this center now i have marked this center point 30 30 
same distance the all these centers are at same distance from y axis from x axis its distance is 17.18 mm so from here to here this distance is 17.18 that's what we uh, obtained now we need to calculate moment of inertia uh, uh, first let's determine moment of inertia with respect to centroidal x axis that means an axis which is passing through this center this this is the center of this composite figure and uh, and parallel to ab parallel to x axis so centroidal x axis uh, for that uh, uh, we need to prepare this table we can prepare this table now we know that uh, moment of inertia with respect to centroidal axis of any rectangle is given by bh cube by 12 where b is the side which is parallel to the given axis now axis is this one x axis this axis is the axis parallel to this so side which is parallel to this for area 1 the side which is parallel to this axis is this side 8 mm so this is b so 50 cube 50 is this height another other side so 8 into 50 cube divided by 12 you will get this value similarly for area 2 you can calculate area 2 uh, the side which is parallel to this axis this side is 60 mm so this is 60 and this height other side is 8 mm so 8 cube divided by 12 this way you can calculate uh, moment of inertia of uh, these two areas area 1 and area 2 now uh, you need to determine this value a into y minus y bar square now remember that when you calculate x uh, moment of inertia with respect to x axis you require to calculate y minus y bar square uh, y minus y bar and its square into area so this term you have to calculate this term is used for uh, parallel axis theorem so uh, you use y and y bar when you are taking moment of inertia with respect to x axis so area this is readily available area of area 1 this area 1 is 400 now this distance is y y is for uh, uh, sorry y is 33 so 33 it is available for area 1 and as, uh, y bar is you have calculated this y bar 17.18 just put all these values you will get this term now add this to this is uh, this is what My parallel axis theorem now add these two term you will get uh, moment of inertia of area 1 so this is the moment um, and this is the area 1 and its moment of inertia with respect to this axis which is passing through centroid of composite figure that is uh, obtained as uh, this value now for second uh, second area this already you have calculated again a into y minus y bar square for area 2 you can see area 2 is readily available here in above table so 480 area 2 now this term is 4 so 4 minus 17.18 this is y bar so this is y2 and this is y bar for area 2 you should take y, y for area 2 and this y bar is common for both so uh, you, you can calculate and you will get this again add these two values these two terms you will get moment of inertia of this rectangle with respect to this centroidal axis now once you get moment of inertia of these two rectangles total moment of inertia of this composite figure will be given by sum of these two so sum of these two uh, add these two term and you will be getting moment of inertia with respect to x axis centroidal axis this is your final answer now, similarly you can obtain uh, moment of inertia with respect to centroidal y axis so just i have drawn again another table similar table uh, again uh, the formula for moment of inertia is with respect to centroidal axis moment of inertia of rectangle with respect to centroidal axis is bh cube by 12 where b is the side which is parallel to the axis now we are taking this uh, this axis this axis so uh, parallel to this axis side is for area 1 side is this one that is 50 so b is 50 other side is 8 so 50 into 8 cube divided by 12 you will get that value and similarly for y axis uh, parallel to for area 2 parallel side is 8 so this one is b and this one is your other side so this is b is 8 and other side that is 60 so 8 into 60 cube divided by 12 you will get this value you have calculated these two now a into uh, for calculating y uh, moment of inertia with respect to y axis you should use this term a area into x minus x bar square again this is and this is the term a into d square which is used in uh, parallel axis theorem this is what we uh, uh, this is actually parallel axis theorem so in place of d i am you know, i am using this term x minus x bar square now here uh, you can see that x1 and x bar both are 30 similarly x2 and x bar both are 30 so 30 minus 30 30 minus 30 in both cases you are getting zero so uh, finally you will be getting moment of inertia of area 1 with respect to centroidal y axis as 2133 mm raised to 4 same value here and similarly in the moment of inertia of area 2 this is area 2 its moment of inertia with respect to centroidal y axis this is the centroidal y axis with respect to that is 
this one now add this to uh, uh, th that will be the final moment of inertia of composite figure this composite figure with respect to final y axis is uh, given by this value again since I have mm raised to 4 is very large uh, in mm raised to 4 this quantity is very large you can convert that into centimeter raised to 4 that is 14.6133 uh, centimeter raised, uh, raised to 4 in this way you can calculate moment of inertia of any composite figure thank you for watching this video